You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. It's been a very, very long time since I've done a Play-Doh set. Multiple reasons. One, well, the main reason is because at one time, tons of channels were showing these sets, and they were doing all kinds of different uh, clay animations, uh, kids playing with them, and a different kind of playtime with the sets. Uh, like I said, animations and clay figures, and that's kind of why uh, YouTube was flagging Made for Kids, because that was the attraction, especially seeing little uh, figures running around the screen and different things like that. Now, I never really made videos that way. I've always done these just to show what came in the set, then I would show you the set, and then I would show you how each aspect of the set works. So completely different. That's why I... Uh, don't do videos like those other channels. Never have and never will. All right. Now, I turned the box around because I was talking too much. Let's see. Burger Builder. Make Play-Doh burgers, fries, and more. Includes Twist a Chip 2. Can't wait to try the Twist a Chip. Now, the front, hopefully you're reading it while I was talking, uh, says create Play-Doh burgers, crank out pretend chips, press out fries, includes Twist a Chip 2. And it uh, looks like it came with five different cans of Play-Doh. Now, I don't know. Actually, I don't even know if this set is complete, to be honest with you. But we will see. There is the top. See, this is what I do. I like to just show the box for history's sake and everything that's in it. So, for me, it's more just documenting. All right, there at the back kind of gives you everything we've read already. Imagination taking shape. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. It says load, crank, press. And then the build one, uh, the bottom says build burgers. All right, so that's what's going to happen here. All right, so now let's just do this. We know what the list of items in there. So it looks like we've got this. Ooh, look at that. I've never actually used one of those. See, to me, it's just watching, learning, and figuring this out. So let's just see. I'm hoping inventory-wise everything is here. A lot of times there's more in these sets than originally came with them. Okay, so there is the burger smasher and maybe a fry maker. Old Play-Doh in all the little crevice, crevices there. All right, let's see what else is in here. Okay, so I have one can of what appears to be old Play-Doh. Yes, it gets crystallized. I don't know if you've ever seen that. Little crystals on it. That one is no good. I have a whole thing of colors off to the side. Now, I might not have the original colors that came with the set. We shall see. I will make two. Let's see what this one is. Okay. Also, crystallized. See the little crystals on there? Kind of looks cool. I made a video years and years and years ago where I took all my old Play-Doh and made a uh, huge ball by wetting it and reconstituting it. I have to find that video. It was fun. All right. So here it's showing you step one, step two, putting this together. And then this is showing you putting this together. So it looks like, of course, that's already been done. Let's go to the parts list. I just saw the parts list. Okay, so it needs, uh, and here's the picture. So there's a plate. This, which has got old Play-Doh in it. Lots of old Play-Doh. Okay. And then I see two of these. I have two, but it only shows... The one, oh, there's one, two, then a little knife. Mine is blue, they show yellow, that's okay. And then one, two, three, four, five, six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it looks like I have all of the pieces. This looks like maybe the onion, or the, yeah, the onion. This looks like the buns. And then this is maybe the pickle, lettuce, and then tomato. That's what I'm guessing here. So it's complete. Very nice. So color-wise, let's just take a quick look. I'll bring this back. So it had green. I'm taking out my Play-Doh Super Pack. Okay, right off the bat I see a green. So let's hope this Play-Doh Super Pack is still good. Now they have a dark, a light green, I have a dark green. Looks like we can still use it. We'll see. Okay, let's see all, you know what? Let's just see. Let me move this out of the way. We'll check out all the colors. 
Okay, so I left that in the corner so you can kind of see it's like tan, pink, green, brown, yellow. Okay, there's a nice tan. It's a lighter yellow. Boy, it's been years since I've been able to take this out. Ooh, there's like a pinkish color that kind of matches that one right there. I will admit though, and uh, I don't know, it was uh, New Year's of 2022, or New Year's or Christmas Eve. I have this massive bin of Play-Doh stuff, and it's kind of become a tradition to bring that to my Christmas Eve party. Everybody, adults, kids, the entire family sit down and make Play-Doh shapes and do fun things with the set. Okay, so we have a brown. Okay, I have a better green, a light green. There's three. So this will be, I don't really have a yellow here. We'll use this as the pink. One, two, three, four. Yellow. I'll have to use this as a yellow. It's like a lighter tan. But that'll work. Five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, there's my colors. There's all the other colors that were in this box, and I've used these long ago in all kinds of videos. All right, so let me come back with the set. We'll set it all up, and we will get started. Okay, so let's get started with something that we know for sure should be easy to make is the buns. There's that one and that one. Even though the shape is really close, let's see. I mean, they both look like buns. Uh, and then we'll use the light one for the buns. Oh, actually, one is probably the patty, the burger patty. Let's just see. Let's get this Play-Doh out. Let's soften it up a little bit. Okay, so which is the meat? My guess is that the meat is the thinner one. Hard to know for sure. Because the box shows the bun super thin and the meat patty a little thicker in both spots. So let's just assume that's the meat patty, which we'll use the brown, and we'll use the bun as this. So you just kind of put this here. How much? I don't know. Let's just put a bigger piece, and we'll see how it presses out and how this works. There we go. Now squish. Looks pretty good. Ah, perfect. Is that the meat or is that the bun? Hard to tell. I think this, yeah, I think I've switched them, but let me see, let me make one out of that. I use the same shape and then you can determine what you think is the bun. Let's put that there. Let's squish. And I do like the front of this. It has a drink, a hamburger, uh, the chips and the fries. And it's really an interesting, like, light bluish color for a Play-Doh set. I find it interesting. Yeah, that has to be the bun. It's got little sesame seeds on it. Okay, so we're going to make that as the bun. So this is what I do. I don't, I'm really just kind of showing you. I'll show you all the sets, all the shapes each set would make. That's what I've always done. And, you know, a lot of times Play-Doh sets have hidden little areas, sometimes on the bottom, not on this set, but little areas where you can make other shapes. All right, let's get the bun down there. There's the top of the bun. Let's move this color out of the way. Let's take the darker brown. Here, this time I will bring you in this way. And then I'll change angles and do different things. Just to kind of make the video a little more interesting. Just than the tops of my hands. Okay. Let's just put a nice bigger piece in so we get a, a good squish. Oh, and two, they would do a lot of animation sounds. Like different sounds. Like they'd be squishing and they'd make different sounds. And it's kind of, oh, sorry, I hit the camera. Not the way I do things. Okay, so that looks like meat. 
I'll put the meat over there. All right. I think I am due for a camera change here. I'll come back now and we'll check out some of the other shapes. Okay, so the third one, I'm going to put what I believe is the tomato. We can Let's take these two. So these two shapes have been done. So you go there, you go there, and then I'll put the middle one in, which has got to be the lettuce. Very misshapen. and it's not round like a pickle. Oh, there's the lettuce. There must be a pickle. It almost looks like two pickles together. So the tomato will do pink. There was a time too, I never mixed my Play-Doh colors. It was, oh boy. But like when I do the massive Play-Doh bin with all kinds of colors, everybody's just, it's a free for all. It's a pretty fun way to do things. So if you ever have, you ever looking for something to do and you don't know what to, what to do for a family get together, try it. We have this contest where we set a time. All right, you have one minute. Everybody has one minute to make something and then we vote on it or we pick the best one or we say, all right, everybody has to make some kind of fruit. Stuff like that. Okay, ooh. What do you think? Tomato? I don't have any Play-Doh scissors handy, so. Okay, so I won't actually finish building that. All right, so that is my pink tomato. And then lettuce. Let's go with the green for the lettuce and the pickle. Yes, so I just gave you a little insight about some family time that I have. And it could be 10, 12 people all around a huge table playing with Play-Doh. It's kind of fun. Now, I don't bring these kinds of sets because it's too chaotic and I would lose track of all the pieces. Okay, so what are you thinking? Is that the pickle? Look like a pickle to you? Okay, let's put that there. And now the lettuce. Ooh. It fell on the ground, knocked over by paper towel, grabbed a little piece of fuzz, but still okay. All right, so now I'll do this one. Okay. Yes, almost looks more like a the way they do a piece of cabbage than necessarily lettuce, but we'll take it. Okay, did I say why I'm doing these Play-Doh sets? These are next to me, my video booth, to the left. I think if you search Lucky Penny Shop, what's on my left? I'll have to check that. I'll write in the description. It's either a TikTok or... I show you everything on this rack, and my goal now is to absolutely do everything on the rack. And there's some fun stuff there, different stuff, but at least three or four Play-Doh sets. Candy dispensers, all right, the last one is what I believe to be onion. So what color would you want your onion? Mm, let's do the pink again. Oh, let's do this one. It's a yellow onion. Looking at it now, there's at least 10 board games, a bubble machine, oh, two more Play-Doh sets, candy dispensers, and some of the games I've played. I actually have a game called Bozo Buckets. I played that the other day. I was watching a TV show, and they were going over the history of the Bozo show, and I was with all the kids and the fam. And I said, hey, you want to play Bozo Buckets? They're like, no. I'm like, yeah, I got it downstairs. And sure enough, Bozo Buckets. And there's some other stuff there. Now, I may not do all of it. Maybe some things I don't normally do. I might. 
I still have that really cool sweater maker. I really want to do the sweater maker. All right. So there. Now let me show you what I have for this part. Those are all the different shapes. Looks pretty cool. Well, let's get this here. I'm going to move some things around, clean up just a little, wipe off some of the old crusties, and I will now try the uh, extractor. We'll see how that works. Okay, so looking at the box, this one here is the fries. So let's do that one first. So you just slide this in, and then we will make some fries. You just take a chunk, put it in here. Now it's going to have some green on it because there's some crusties in here. And push. Okay, so we'll do some, we'll do two different lengths. I want to make some longer ones. There's those crusty greens in there. Okay, now these other shapes, let's just take a quick look. I mean, that could be ketchup or mustard. I'm not sure, you know, if you want to do those colors. Then this one just looks like a, I don't know. Is it a specific thing? They don't really tell you. Like these could be mini fries. And the last one's just a big round tube. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, those are the five from that one. Let's grab another one here. shape two shape there's my fries and there was this tube and then like uh, almost skinnier looking french fries maybe shoestring potatoes we'll call that shoestring potatoes all right let's switch colors here let's do this green i got plenty of green okay so there is this u-shaped thing if anybody in the comments wants to say, oh yeah, that is the blank and blank for the burger. Okay, then little, tiny, really tiny, almost noodle-like, spaghetti-like hairs. And then three circles. Very much like one of the other ones from the other. And then what looks like a star. What kind of need more in there? And the last one just looks like an oval. Like an elongated oval. I don't know what else to call it. Do they have anything to do with the actual burgers? I don't think so. Okay, so we've seen all that. I'm not ready to put my burger together, but I want to make the chips. And I've used all my yellow. I got a little bit left, so let's make what I have left. Maybe I can do the chips in another color. We'll make them 
barbecue flavor. So maybe I'll make them pink. All right. Let me move this to a, another vessel here so we can keep track of it all. And I will do the last uh, extruder. It's another type of extruder. This one's a handheld, and it's pretty neat. It's got like a little knife on it, and then this spins. Let's see if there's pressure. Yeah, it'll, it'll actually click, so it won't hurt your finger, but it'll click when it's in position. Okay, we're pre pretending we're chefs now. We're moving this all to a cutting board so we can show the chef our skills. I believe those are just regular fries. Then this one, see, it's kind of like this one. Then this one, and this one. There's our 10 different shapes. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then our burger with the bun. And then let's see, okay, so I believe this twists, yes, this twists off. It's got like a screw mechanism inside. And it's supposed to cut and make chips. So you spin that all the way down, lock this in, and then as you turn, yeah, look at that. Cool. Ooh, that's flying. So as you turn, it extrudes and it makes the chip. It's more like a ridges, like a ruffles ridges. Oh, it hit a piece of a piece of the green. Ooh, we have a we have an issue. Uh oh, we have an extruder problem. That green is stopping it. Hmm. That's not cool. Oh, it's right on there. Yeah, that's a big chunk. Big chunk stuck inside. Let's redo it. So if you go slow, if you go slow, it seems like you get different sizes. So let's do it one more time. Let's pick another color. Let's clear this thing out. I'm getting it, but I'm not necessarily getting it. It could be the harder or softer Play-Doh makes a difference. Let me go with pink. So like I said, if you're looking for a fun time and your whole family likes Play-Doh, even if they don't, just set it there, open it all up, and I bet you people start playing with it. Chips. Oh yeah, so if you don't get a good cut, what do you think? That's one of the coolest extruders I've ever dealt with with Play-Doh. And I've done a lot of sets. Actually, I don't remember how many sets I've done, but I've done quite a few. Okay, that's pretty neat. So that's the last shape is this little grouping here. Don't freak out. Yes, okay, so let me move this out of the way. I think we're done for now. We've shown all the shapes. We'll leave this in the background. Let's build our burger. And I don't have anything to put the fries in. It'd be cool if they gave you a little fry container and maybe the little drink cup so you can, uh, you know, expound upon the playtime. I have all of that stuff in my mini kitchen. But, all right, so here we go. So we want this, we want this, the pickles, and then the onion. This is going to be one tall burger. Look at that. Mmm. Here it is. Would you take a bite? 
of my Play-Doh burger or a French fry. That's a pretty fun set. What do you think? Would you eat my burger? Would you have built the burger differently? Would you have made a flat piece of orange cheese? See, there's a lot more. You don't have to use just the shapes that are there or, or follow like I did and show what I did. You can, you know, do all sorts of different things. You can actually make a fry container out of Play-Doh. That could be an option too. All right, well, there you go. It is the Play-Doh Burger Builder. More on the way. Hope you enjoyed that. Me showing you all the different little shapes and designs you can make from this set. As always, thanks for supporting the channel. And if you can, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. There's a playlist link there if you can click that. I really could use your help right now. Thank you very much. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.